So in the previous episode I showed you how to simulate by hand um, a project. So we've, what we've done is we've simulated actually 10 experiments. In 10 experiments, in each experiment we simulated the project, we simulated what the activity times are and how long each path is and then we computed project duration as maximum length of overall paths and then we determined, determined if the project exceeds or not 27 days and which path is critical. Now, uh, as, I, as I said, we usually have to run multiple, much more experiments to have some um, accurate results from the simulation. So if you want to run more, more experiments than just 10, uh, what can we do? Well, we can use Excel. So I have here an Excel file uh, that was prepared by Dr. Walid Nasser, which actually simulates this project uh, uh, f 500 times. So you see the ex simulation experiment, which is in the first column, runs down to 500, right? all the way up to 500 and in each experiment we of course have random numbers computed by a certain function right five random numbers and then project uh, activity times are computed through mapping there is a certain if function you could also implement it with a vlookup function that basically computes based on this random number what is the uh, what is the activity time for all activities up to E, except e F, F is always 5 days, so F is here a constant value, 5. And then uh, the path length is computed as the sum of activity times taken from, from these columns, right? Appropriate, so basically this is taking activity A, B, C and F durations, adds them, and that is the uh, duration of path or pr length of path ABCF and then the same ADCF, ADF project duration is computed as the maximum of path lengths so basically now it is in this experiment it is 25 and then you see we have an if function here if that computes uh, whether the project duration exceeds 27 or not if it exceeds it puts 1 if it doesn't it puts 0 so we have here a, an indicator whether the project was too long over 27 days or not and then here we have an indicator which says 1 if a path is critical or 0 if not and it is computed with an if function that compares the duration of the path to the project duration so if it is equal it it is a critical path so you have one notice that sometimes we have more than one path that is critical because path lengths might be identical and both might be or three of them even might be the same uh, critical path right so in this case we have multiple critical paths so this is just the raw data from the 500 simulation experiments and what can we do then with them to 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 do the computation to do to do statistical analysis well, in the, in the second spreadsheet here we have some analysis and uh, this analysis, so you see I computed here a number of experiments which is basically a count function and of course it is 500. There is a computation here of uh, the project expected project duration, there is standard deviation of project duration, there is a minimum for the project duration and maximum. Now if I know minimum is 19, maximum is 35, then I, what I did actually here is is I computed uh, a kind of histogram with a count if function. The count if function computes basically the number uh, of times that this project duration occurs in the simulation experiments. So I have 20 times project duration was 19, 5 times it was 20 and so on up to 35 project duration was 35, 11 times. And now if you use conditional formatting, bar conditional formatting on this, uh, on these numbers, you, you can uh, get kind of a, a rotated histogram, right? And we can see from it that actually the distribution of this project duration is not really normal. So assuming that it is normal, normally distributed is, is an incorrect assumption because it is some kind of uneven distribution with some peaks at 23 days, 25, 27 perhaps, right? Uh, increased on, for example, never it never is 31 days even though it can go to up to 35 days. So uh, what can we do more? Well we can uh, for example think about what's the actual expected project duration. This is just out of 500 experiments but if we think about the whole population of all possible experiments what's the project duration <coughs> expected value of project duration. Well, we can compute here, for example, confidence interval, 95% confidence interval, by <coughs> entering the actual mean, 
right? 26362 and for example the standard deviation 3.692 and of course the number of experiments was 500 let's use t so now we can see that the true mean value true expected project completion time is somewhere in between 26 and 26.7 with 95 percent uh, probability right or we can do a similar thing uh, we can say well likelihood of exceeding 27 days according to my experiments is uh, 38 but what is the the, the true probability uh, with some confidence in uh, right some likelihood so if I put 0 0.38 and I said this is obtained based on 500 experiments what is the true probability uh, well it, it lies somewhere between 0 0.337 and 0 0.423 with 95 percent likelihood right so we know uh, even though it, it could the actual probability could be lower than this it is still very high even in the lowest lower uh, c level of the confidence interval uh, it, it is actually still very high so I think we shouldn't promise uh, especially it if we if we will have a very high cost of being late we shouldn't promise 27 days so that that concludes our uh, simulation example uh, of project using Excel